I've done carpentry for, for many years, and while I did carpentry, I, I just loved doing furniture. Michael Fleming's artistic talents surfaced in his first career. Off the clock, he spends much of his time along the main coast, but in recent years, Fleming has found a way to make his beach combing more productive. Personally, I just love driftwood. I, there's a story behind driftwood. It's not like wood where I can go to the lumber yard and make a fine table or so forth. It's, there's something about driftwood that captures you and it brings back really good memories. And that's what he uses to make high-end furniture. Fleming says the fun is all in the hunt. I'm very select on what I choose. By request or spur of the moment, from Fleming's hands, the driftwood becomes one rustic sofa, lamp, or chair at a time. So although we weren't able to find any driftwood today, I was able to sample some of Fleming's pieces in their own element. While it's as comfy as it is exquisite, Fleming's talents don't rest here. He also makes sculptures. Fleming's creativity has caught the attention of some curious journalists, other than myself, from the New York Times, Coastal Living, and even national television. Business is good. It's, it's starting to take off, and I think because it's different. Right now, he's working on a special piece. I just recently was contacted by a woman from out of state and her husband's been a uh, Ironman competitor for most of his life. And he's a father of three. And she asked me to make him a bike out of driftwood, of all things. He's been diagnosed with leukemia. And I'm going to make this man something beautiful. So when that hangs on the wall and he comes out of his room every morning, it might give him some inspiration for his journey to recovery. In Lincolnville, I'm Lindsay Mills.